Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, little learners. Welcome back to our learning space. My name is Miss Lara. Can you tell me your name? I'm so happy that you made it back. Let's start off with our song. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Let's meet someone new now. Our someone new is our special friend. Let me pull him out. Hello, Scaredy. Ooh, Scaredy Snail, you're feeling much better today. I can tell you're out of your shell. Yes, I am feeling much better today. Ooh, I'm glad what turned around for you. I used some of the things in your toolbox to help me calm down. And now I'm super excited. I'm so happy. I'm so excited that I want to talk really, really fast. Did you know that snails can talk really, really fast? Everyone thinks we talk really slow, but I... Ooh, you sound very excited. Now, excited is a very strong feeling, too. It's a good feeling, but sometimes you need to calm down when you're excited, too. So, hmm, I'm going to put you down, and we're going to spin our wheel of calm to calm ourselves down. Now, when you're in regular school, you have to sit on what's called a carpet in preschool, and that means keeping your body calm. So if you're feeling very excited, which is a good thing, you might need to have a strategy to calm yourself down. So let's spin our wheel and see what we come up with today. Ooh, blow a bubble. Ooh, that might be a little bit hard. Let's see if Miss Lara has her bubble solution here. If not, we'll have to pretend blow a bubble with our bubble gum. Ready? Now, I have a little secret for you. Every kid has a special piece of space gum in their pocket. I want you to reach in and check. Ready? Ooh, here's mine. It's a rainbow. We're going to put it in our mouth and chew it. It's the only gum that you're allowed to chew when you're little. Ready? Now we're gonna blow a big bubble. And our space bubble helps calm us down because we can stay in our space bubble. And if we touch somebody else, it'll pop. So we stay calm and keep our bodies calm. Did you check for some gum in your pocket? I bet it's there. Okay, so let's move on to checking in on how you're feeling today. Let me grab my letter board here. And I'm gonna take these off. And I bet you're going to guess this letter. It's going to be a big line down and a little curve on top. What letter have I made? Yes, it's the letter P. All right, let me grab my letter P mirror. Here we go. I'm going to check our emotional check-in. Have you figured out how you're feeling? Maybe it's time for us to sing with Shy Bunny. I like to move around while I sing. Let's sing if you're happy and you know it together. Ready? Here we go. Get ready to sing along with me. And Shy Bunny. Shy Bunny doesn't like to sing, but maybe if we sing with him, he'll sing along too. If you're angry and you know it, say I'm mad, I'm mad. If you're angry and you know it, say I'm mad, I'm mad. If you're angry and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're angry and you know it, say I'm mad, I'm mad. If you're scared and you know it, say oh no, oh no. If you're scared and you know it, say oh no, oh no. If you're scared and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're scared and you know it, say, oh no, oh no. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. 
If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Yay! Our feelings are so important. Thank you, Shy Bunny. I hope you loved singing along to If You're Happy and You Know It. Now, boys and girls, remember, you can sing a song in your head and also sing a song in your heart if you're feeling good. Now, let's see. We're going to check in with a friend right now. His name is Gregory. Look, special letter G for Gregory. Gregory, you're the first Gregory we've had on the show. So look. You can see that he's holding up this sign, which is a peace sign, and he's wearing his tiger sweater. Hmm, I wonder how he's feeling. Now, I have to tell you that I saw Gregory at the zoo. He was with his family, and he said to me that he felt a very certain kind of way. He had his chain on. Hmm, I wonder, do you think that Gregory is feeling confused or do you think he's feeling proud make the face that you think he's feeling yeah I think he's feeling proud too look I can tell because his posture is upright and he also told me that he felt like a cool boy Gregory I think you are a cool boy thank you so much for sharing your story and boys and girls if you want to share your story don't forget to ask a teacher or a family member to send your picture and story to the address below. All right, let's ring our bell. We already did so much. We did our emotional check-in. Today we're going to learn about story sequencing, and then it's going to be time to sing our goodbye song. So before I get that started, let's do our movement card. So I'm going to turn this card over, and there's going to be a letter and a movement that starts with that letter. Are you ready? Da 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 da! Letter F. Freeze like ice. Okay, you have to freeze exactly with what you were doing. Like that, you can't. Ooh, you, you're talking. Okay, I better unfreeze myself. Let's go to the intentional message. Did you know that trick? You just tap your head and unfreeze yourself. Now remember, we're learning about the story, Thunder Cake, and this is our story sequence. First, do you remember what happened? There was something in the sky that made the clouds gray and rainy. Yes, it was a thunderstorm. Now the little girl in our story saw the thunderstorm and it made her feel a strong feeling. Do you remember what that feeling was? Yes, scared. She even went like this. Let's put the scared right here. That's what happened first. Now she needed to calm down. Her babushka, which is what they call grandmother in Russian, did something to help her calm down. Do you remember what it was? Yes, she was gathering ingredients. Whoop, this almost fell off. So let's see. She went to the barn first and she got some eggs. Let's see from the hen right here. Now in the story the hen was a very mean hen. He used to peck at the little girl so she was very scared to get the eggs. And then she went to the dry shed and she got my favorite ingredient which is some chocolate. Yum! She got some sugar as well and we're gonna put that right here. After she gathered her ingredients then what did she do? Yes, they started baking a cake, but first they needed that special ingredient, which was what? I know, tomatoes. Who puts tomatoes in a cake? But that's what makes it a very special thunder cake, isn't it? Then they made their cake and ate it. It was delicious. I want to make some thunder cake. Maybe if you come back tomorrow, Miss Laura will have a very special surprise for you. Now, boys and girls, I want to see if you remember the story sequence. So let's watch a video together that walks us through it. Ready? Let's watch. Thunder Cake by Patricia Polacco, retold by Miss Lara.
In the beginning of Thunder Cake, two characters, Babushka and a little girl, heard a thunderstorm coming. The little girl was scared. The thunderstorm was very loud. How do you feel when you hear thunder and lightning? To help the girl feel better, Babushka decided to bake thunder cake. What makes you feel better when you're scared? Next, Babushka took out her recipe and asked the girl to gather the ingredients. Let's see, what ingredients did she gather? She gathered eggs from mean old Nellie Peck Hen <laughs> and milk from old Kick Cow. <coughs> from the dry shed, she got chocolate and flour and of course sugar to make the cake extra sweet then obviously tomatoes. Tomatoes in a cake? Who ever heard of such thing? Let me check the book. Still checking. I guess Thunder Cake does have tomatoes. Would you eat a cake with tomatoes? In the end, Babushka and the little girl make and eat their Thunder Cake. How did the little girl feel at the end of the story? That's right, she felt brave. What makes you brave? Now boys and girls, remember you can read all about the weather, feelings, and a lot of other things in the books around you and on the Sora app. So let's ring our bell and we'll go through our visual schedule. Ready? Right. So we did our emotional check-in today. We did our weekly investigation. So we've done science with weather. We've story sequenced our book, Thunder Cake. What's left? Hmm, I wonder if we're gonna make a cake later on in the week. That would be so much fun. Then it's time to sing our goodbye song. So let's do that together. Are you ready? Here we go. Now I hope this helps you learn your letters too. It goes like this. A, B, C, you later. D, E, F, G, I'm gonna miss ya. H, I have to go now. J, K, bye-bye now. L, N, N, O, I had a good time. P, Q, R, you gonna miss me. S, T, you are my best friend, V, W, X, Y, Z. I'm going to miss you so much, boys and girls. I hope that you come back tomorrow. We're going to do a fun activity with some writing. Now, I want you to, in the meantime, think of something that makes you a little bit fearful. Until then, Miss Laura sends you a smooch and a squeeze. Goodbye. A brand new day, time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun, learning is good for everyone.